Hi friends, welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much for being here. I really appreciate it. In today's video, I have a Fashion unboxing and try on to share with you. So Fashion contacted me and asked me if I would like to be gifted one of their boxes. And I had recently seen Nancy Ann, my good friend Nancy Ann, over at her channel, Nancy Ann's Unboxings. And I had also watched Barbara, who is a sweetheart, over at BC Sells. And both of them had really great fashion boxes. So I said, yes, I would love to go ahead and try it. So Fashion is a personalized styling service that you can order on demand. And they've recently changed the way that they are doing things. For a while now, they had been selling mystery boxes where you would receive five items for $55 with no returns or exchanges. The new way that they are doing it now, it is five items also, but for $95. And you are able to exchange for different sizes if need be at, for a small fee. Now, I'm not exactly sure what that fee is, but it does say that you're able to do exchanges for a small fee. And I also wanted to point out that their old way of doing the mystery boxes with the five for 55, in those boxes, they would basically send you kind of random pieces for your size. But the new way that they are doing it with the five for 95, they are styling you based on your style profile. So they are picking out items for you that you have said that you liked in your style profile, you know, as far as colors and styles and fits that you like, they are going off of your style profile. So it's a little bit different than some of the other styling services out there, but if you hopefully get five items that you like from this box, what does that end up being? $19 per piece. So that is really a pretty good deal if you end up liking all the pieces. Now obviously if you don't like some of the pieces they might be a higher price point depending on how many that you really like. But I do think it's fun to sometimes get surprises and like I said those other two unboxings that I saw were really great. So I am very excited to open up this box and see what they have sent me. So I'm going to go grab the scissors and we are going to open this up and see what I've got in here. All right, I have got my bundle out here. This is what it looks like. All right, I am liking the colors and things that I'm seeing so far. So let's go ahead and open this bundle up. So the first piece that I have here is the brand Dictionary. And oh my gosh, is this soft. This is a plaid. It is. It feels like a thicker flannel, but it is like a long, like open front blazer or cardigan. That is really cute. Okay, I am excited to try that on. It says cozy here on the tag, and I will agree that the feel of this is very nice. We've got some jewelry. And I did read on the website that the jewelry you cannot exchange. So the jewelry is that you will just be keeping. And those are a cute little pair of earrings. I put on the style profile that I wear silver and those are adorable. I do like those. Those, those are very different than anything I have. So those are cute earrings. I like those. All right, this next top is from Anna Rose. And this is really a pretty just beige sweater. Feels very nice quality. That is cute, I like that. All right, the next piece we have is from Melrose Chic. And this is a really cute, it looks to be like a crop sweater. It is this olive green. It's a crew neck. It, like I said, it looks to be crop styling, but that is adorable. I really like that. All right, I'm keeping my fingers crossed because I just picked up a pair of jeans and my regular subscribers will know that I have an issue with jeans a lot of the time because I am tall and I need longer inseams. So let's take a look at these. All right, these are called Ink Denim High Rise Straight and they 
are probably going to be a crop pair of jeans on me and they do have some distressing here which i am not opposed to it's a little bit there it's not a lot i oh there's a little bit more on this knee but i don't think it's a terrible amount of distressing and i i'm a person that likes distressed jeans and I, these are a size 10. i think the length is going to be shorter on me but it might be a good length and because they're a straight leg i might be able to wear these with boots for the fall so we will give it a try all right so i have to tell you that so far i think the items that i've opened up are are kind of cute and i'm excited to try them on so let me go ahead and change into the first few pieces and i will be right back okay friends i actually have four of the five pieces on to show you so let me show you the earrings first all right so these are the earrings and i really like them they are definitely my style they're very light and comfortable so i think the earrings are really cute all right and now we are going to go on to i guess you'd call it a blazer i'm call i guess i'll call it like an open front blazer but because of the fabric, it feels like it's a very soft flannel. So it's it's much more casual than just like a standard blazer, which is perfect for me because I have such a casual lifestyle. But I do think it's really cute. I'm trying to get a close up here of what the plaid and the fabric kind of looks like. So I think you can see it's just a really soft flannel. Very neutral with the coloring, obviously. And being that I'm 5'9", you can see it is, you know, a longer length that comes down well over my bottom. But I think this is actually really cute. It does have the pockets here and it is not lined as you can see. But overall, I think it's really cute. I do like it and the quality does feel very nice with this one. All right, so why don't we go on to the jeans next. Now I'm standing back so that you can see the length now these are obviously not my desired length for jeans these are an ankle length but believe me i've had jeans sent to me a lot shorter than these but because of the ankle length and the color of the wash i'm i'm okay with the ankle length i wear these type of jeans in the spring and summer a lot because i think they look cute with sandals now obviously if you don't like distressing you're not going to like these I'm a person that I like, I don't mind a little bit of distressing. So the distressing here on the thigh and the knee is fine with me. And I really do like the color of the wash. Now I will tell you putting these on, I was like, whoa, I had to kind of suck in <laughs> to get these zipped up. But these jeans don't have any stretch in them. So as I'm wearing them a little bit longer, they're like kind of loosening up. So I think that these are the type of jeans, like old jeans, where as the day goes on, they just kind of mold and get a little bit looser. And so I think the size of these will be fine. Initially, I was like, oh no, I wonder if I can exchange these for a 12 because the 10s were feeling tight. But like I said, they're kind of loosening up as I'm just wearing them for a little bit. So overall, I mean, I probably would not have picked these jeans but I do like them and because of the wash and the length, these would definitely be a pair of jeans that I would wear um, with cute like little slip-on sneakers in the spring and summer or sandals. I can definitely see myself wearing these because for my regular viewers, you will know the length of these compared to some of the jeans I have received, these are not these are not a bad length and the ankle ones are really popular which i'm trying to embrace so overall i am not disappointed with the jeans i will definitely wear these more in the spring and summer i would say i have to try them on with a pair of ankle boots to see how i liked them with the boots to see if they could be something i could maybe wear even this fall but they they are not a bad pair of jeans and now that i have them i will definitely wear them all right so let's go ahead and we can go on to this really cute very neutral light sweater so i don't know if you would call this a boat neck but it seems to be a little bit wider on the shoulders than just a regular crew neck but i do like that and i will tell you the quality of this one feels very nice so i just wanted to give you a close-up on what the fabric looks like so it's just a nice lightweight tight weave sweater very soft you can see it's the three-quarter sleeves and it does have a rounded hem here in the front 
and in the back. So being that this is so lightweight, it is perfect under this, the blazer cardigan that they sent. Um, but this is also, you know, a great sweater for, I'm thinking my love of denim or chambray shirts. I was thinking one of those topped over this would be really cute. So I really like the sweater. I'm really impressed with the quality of this. It feels very nice. So overall, I think we're doing very well with my first fashion box in a long time, but I still have one more sweater to try on, so let me go ahead and change into that and I will be right back. All right, I am back with the last sweater to show you and I am loving this color. I love green and obviously they saw that from my style profile. I think this is a great color for me. And so it's really just a basic crew neck styling but what I like about it is that I thought it was cropped but it's really not too cropped I think the length is really good but it's not clingy it's just the way that I like sweaters just kind of floating over the body without clinging to all the spots that I don't want to accentuate so this is exactly the type of style of sweater that I gravitate towards I just wanted to zoom in here to show you what the weave of this sweater is like this is definitely a cute one, and this is definitely something that I will wear. I love the color, it's perfect styling for me, so this is a great one to add into my wardrobe. Okay friends, so those were the five items that Fashion sent me. What did you think? Obviously, when you're spending $95 and you're not exactly sure what they're sending and you can't return anything, yes, that can be a gamble. But I can say that from the items that they've sent me, also seeing Nancy Ann's unboxing and Barbara's unboxing, and also the correspondence that I have been getting from the woman that I'm dealing with at Fashion, she also wants me to reiterate that they are really trying to style you based on your style preferences. So yes, it can be a gamble spending $95 when you're not sure what they're going to be sending you, but in knowing that they are really trying to work off of that style profile, I think takes a little bit of the worry out of it. So for me personally, I, I do like all five of these pieces. The jeans maybe are something that I wouldn't have purchased myself. So even if I say I just got four pieces that I spent $95 on, what is that, like 23 and change a piece that I would be spending on? So maybe the earrings I would spend $23, but I'd probably spend more than $23 on this sweater and definitely on the blazer cardigan. So for me, this has been a really good experience. So and I think that's what they're really trying to do. They are trying to send you items based on your style profile. So it's up to you whether you think it is something you want to try or not. I do have a referral link and if you use that, they had mentioned that one of my viewers could possibly win a free box if you do use the referral link. So if I can get any more details about that, I'll try to put that below in the description box. But overall, this was a pleasant surprise for me and I was really happy to be able to share this with you. But go ahead and leave me your comments and what do you think about this model that they're doing? The paying the $95 for five pieces with only being able to exchange. What do you think about that? Is it something that you would try? But like I said, overall, I'm very impressed with the quality of the pieces and it all worked out very well for me. So friends, I do want to thank you so much for taking a little bit of time out of your day to spend with me. I really do appreciate it and I will see you all next time. Bye.